guys like jewelry inspiration and craft making and some great shopping hauls and some paper crafting, card making, things like that, make sure you hit like and subscribe and hit the little bell on the side so you don't miss anything. Okay guys, so I did the placement and that's what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? It's still very wet, but it's starting to cure. So I just, you know, put it on there like that. And I'm still kind of moving some stuff around just because I want it to settle in certain places, you know. But that's how it looks. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. That is stunning. Wow. Well, I'm not even finished with it yet. So I'm going to let that cure for a second. And then this is starting to already cure itself. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So I have three beautiful pieces. So remember, you can just put it together however you want it. Um, I just wanted something sort of, you know, vibrant and pretty um, to make. Uh, I'm probably going to make these out of necklaces because you could still put your chain through there. Like I left the thing there, you could put your chain through there. Or like I said, you can use it as a top piece for a box or, you know, whatever. Um, like that. These would be great necklaces though, I think. They're not real heavy which is nice. They have a little bit of weight to them, but they're not super heavy or anything. So these will make great necklaces, I think. Oh yeah, I still gotta clean it up, obviously, with the glue and stuff, but I think that that's beautiful. Look at that, I wanted you to, can it focus I want you to be able to see that. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. All right, there we go. Okay, and then let's see this one. All right, it's focusing. Oh, there we go, I think so. All right. Okay, so I'm going to play around with the Swarovski crystals too and see if I can add them and see how it looks. Because I pulled them out. Um, and it's just going to see how they look. <laughs> oh, I got so much stuff to put away, it's crazy. So I think I'm going to use these tweezers. These are my little new tweezers. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Sorry about the outside noise, guys. I just have the window open because I'm using this E6000, and I don't want to get a headache or toxic fumes or anything like that. So pardon the outside noise, if you should hear any. All right, but look at that. I, but you know what? It covers up the flower, huh? It's not real small like I wanted it to be. Oh, okay. I mean, I could still use them, obviously, but I think it covers up the flower, but it still looks beautiful, huh? Like, that looks beautiful. I don't have to put it on all the flowers because like that one's really little. I can just kind of strategically place the, the uh, crystals. Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> don't we love? Girl, stop. Okay, okay. Like right there. Like, Isn't that beautiful? Because I don't have any paint to like really pretty yellow paint to cover that up. But I still want to add some interest to it. If I need to add a little bitty small one. Like a little beady one. Oh, but you know what? Let me see. Can I add a rhinestone? Would that look crazy? <laughs> Probably, huh? Let's see, look at that. Can I add a rhinestone? Is that too, that's too big? Ah, like a little beady one. You know what I mean? Like a little small one. Yeah, I kind of wanted it to like extend out. You know what I mean? I think that looks dope. I think it looks really fabulous. Um, Let's see. Wait, where am I? Oh, here we go. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's just place it and see what it looks like. And if it looks weird, we won't use it, right? That's how it works. All right. Like, I think this looks really good here, too. Like, that would totally stick there. Especially after I use my lacquer stuff, it would totally stick. I'm not even worried about that. But like that, how would that look? I mean, put it there. Yeah, like there. Wow. That's really pretty, guys. Really pretty. I'm head over heels in love with it. I mean, I know it covers up the flowers. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I love it. I don't know. I might keep that one off. But I love that so far. And I love this. You can do it something like that, too. Oh. Love it, guys. This is off the chain. Pardon my urbanness. <laughs> Excuse my urbanness. You know, I am from Chicago, so it's not like I'm, you know, trying to pretend like I'm from some somewhere else. I am from the inner city, but I am a suburban girl also. 
you know? I have a little of everything going on. <laughs> Even a little southern sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I probably could be using some uh, hypo cement for this, but I don't have any. My tube uh, broke, and I didn't buy any new hypo cement, so that's normally what I use for my crystals. So, yeah, normally what I use for my crystals are hypo cement, but I don't have any. The tube sort of busted, and I didn't get any more. So I'm going to have to go with the E6000 on this, which I don't necessarily like because it's so messy, but... I don't know, I lost my crystal. <laughs> it ran away. Where'd it go? <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll find another one. Just pull a few of them out. There you go. Pull a few out. I like these little tweezers. I got these tweezers at Hobby Lobby. Like when they had the clearance. I love these tweezers. Wait, what did I, what did I put this one? Oh, like right there on the leaf. Yeah, it's a little much of glue, but that's why I like the hypo cement better for crystals. Because it's not as messy, you know? So. I wanted you guys to see this. Oh, that's beautiful. And like I said, once I use a lacquer, it's going to be perfectly fine. I'm going to put it right there, huh? I already got the glue there, so let's just do that. Okay. So, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, my God. So definitely, guys, if you make one of these, tag me on it and let me see, because I want to see what you come up with. Because these are fabulous. Might start a whole new trend. <laughs> Let's hope, right? Let's hope. This is beautiful. That is stunning. So I dug through my little crystal collection <laughs> of what I have. And I, f I did not find any yellow, but I did find a teeny one, like a little um, clear one. Kind of here. Yeah. I got all this paint in my hand, so I mean, uh, glue in my hand, sorry. <laughs> but I found that. So, I'm going to just put a little bit of E6000 on it. Just dip it in there, really, because it's so little. You can't put a whole lot on there. Just a little, little dab. I'm going to place it right here. Oh, I see, that's too much. I'm going to place it right here in the center of the flower. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it closer. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And I found another one. So I think I'm going to use the other one in this little, like, rose there. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. These are gorgeous. Wow. Look how gorgeous. All right. Uh-oh. I'm losing it. And those are only two I have, so I can't lose it. <laughs> it's only two little bitty clear, like, clear uh, crystals I have. These are Swarovski's. Um, so... I have these had these for quite a long time. If I can get it right here, let me see. Grab it and then dip it in some glue. All right. Uh oh. Where'd it go? Come on. Find me. There we go. We're gonna have to place it in there. And there you go. Looks like it's part of the rose. Look at that. The center of the rose. Oh, don't we love? It will stay. Oh, it's gonna stay. We gonna let's pray. <laughs> I'm going to lacquer it, like I said, anyway, make sure it stays. All right. I think this piece is done, actually, guys. All right. I'm just pulling off some of the glue. And you will have that if you use the C6000. So, and after it's all cured and settled and everything, you can go through and just pick, you know, clean it up and pick off those pieces. And, yeah, that's it. Oh, my God. This is so gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, minus the paper towel. Okay, how gorgeous is that? Oh my god. I have a crystal stuck to that. <laughs> and that's so cute. Yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. So I'm still sort of moving stuff around here to make sure. Like, I'm gonna push this out a little bit. Because I want it to go towards the edge of the piece. Kind of like that. Yeah, there we go. And then, like I said, if you want to fill in the holes there, you can always put in either the crystals or the rhinestones. Which I might just stick a couple of rhinestones on here. Just to kind of fill it up a little bit. See, like here you have some glue. So yeah, you can just kind of clean it up a little bit. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. That's it. Beautiful. 
So it's done. These two pieces are done. I'm going to let these cure. Okay. I'm going to let these cure. Okay. So those are our two finished pieces. So these are pretty much done. Just got to put the final touches on them and we'll be done. Okay. All right. Guys, yeah, so now it's been a day and a half. Um, and the projects are dry. So this is how this one came out. I still need to take some alcohol and clean it up a little bit, but I'm going to wait till I'm completely done with it to do that. So this is how the first one came out. And this is the back. So just clean it off a little bit, you know, with the alcohol or whatever. Just gently because you don't want to loosen anything. And then, like I said before, you can back this with something, either another piece of metal or some felt or even fabric. But I don't know. I kind of like the way it looks like that, you know. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. I like the the way it looks like that that way, you know. I think it's uh very pretty. It's beautiful. So I've been taking my tweezers and going through and just kind of picking off the, the little glue strings. Because you will get some glue strings in there, okay? But isn't that beautiful? You should see that up close. It's so pretty. So that's one. Now look at this one. This is my absolute favorite. I love this piece. It's probably one of the prettiest things I've ever created. And I've created a lot of beautiful things. So yeah, like I said, I'm just going through and picking off the little glue strings. But that is stunning. Isn't that stunning? If I say so myself. So yeah, I just use the, um, see, I see, keep seeing the little glue strings. <laughs> yeah, there was one right there. So I put the Swarovski crystals on the outside of the Tim Holtz pieces. These are the Tim Holtz pieces here. And this is the uh, bracelet slider. And these are the uh, Walmart pieces there. And I just filled it in. So is that beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful, right? So, and this is the back of it. I like the back of it. I like, I probably wouldn't back that with anything. I just clean it up a little bit and that's it, you know? So, but yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. I love it. So, now for one of the next to the last step, I'm not going to clean it off on camera. So I'm going to just do it, you know, aside and definitely check out my Instagram because I am going to be uh, putting pictures of these once I'm completely done with them up on Instagram. Okay. That way you can see them, you know, up close and personal um, at Stephanie G creative on Instagram. Okay. So now, now for the very last step, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to add this 3d lacquer. Now I have used this on so many projects and it adds um, a little bit of effect, kind of a glassy effect to your pieces. And it's non-toxic, which is great. I have used this for years on everything, uh, all my rings, everything. I like it because it's like an extra hold. Now, again, I would not use this by itself because it's not, it's not an adhesive. I wouldn't trust it by itself. But along with this too, this works amazing. So, and what this does is just kind of gives it a nice glassy effect. It, um, it, it holds it a little bit better, you know, with the glue and everything. So I just use this as a secondary thing. Um, you don't have to use this, but I always do. So that's just me though. And I had to put a pin in it. Um, this is how it dries. So it looks like water. So this is how it comes out. So like that see that's how it looks and it dries clear so what I do is just go through and just add a little you know just a little bit in between because it kind of seals it but it gives it a nice effect too I don't put it directly on the, the pieces usually sometimes I do it depends on the piece but I just want it just to to hold do you know what I mean so, like I said, you don't have to do this, but I do, because I like for my things to, to uh, stay. So, yeah. So, and I even would do this with the um, crystals. See, it, dry, it will dry clear, and it just gives it an extra hold. You probably don't have to put it on the crystal, but <laughs> I would do that. That's just me, though. Again, you can add whatever adhesive you want. I'm sure that there are other things on the market that you could probably use, in a, um, you know, without using this um, but you know you can use that uh, whatever you use as you want okay I don't want to put it on there like okay so that's it for that and it just it just adds a little something extra 
helps it stay put it dries beautifully you know I just put it in the crevices here kinda there's like an extra hold now some of these little ones I had to be careful of just because I don't want it to you know mess up here <laughs> Yeah. Let's see, I'll put it on the outside here. All right, and well, that's it. See, I put it on here and you can't even tell. I used it on this one. So, yeah. I mean, you can probably see the glue more so than anything, but you really can't see the, um, the lacquer. Yeah, and then, you know, you can go through and just pick off your little extra glue with your tweezers, but be very gentle because, um, oh, I'm shaking my table. <laughs> you know, after it completely dries, just to clean it up a little bit because your stones might just fall off. But, you know, you just have to go through and do that. Oh, like that. <laughs> little piece. It's always going to be one or two little um, pieces left to clean up okay pull it off clean it up so yeah you may have to just go through and clean it up a little bit um, which is no big deal anytime you use e6000 on jewelry you're gonna have to do a little cleaning on anything I don't care if it's a ring a necklace whatever but yeah it looks great so yeah I used the lacquer on this and the e6 well the e6000 you know first let it dry and then I use a lacquer and that's how it looks. Beautiful. Gives it a nice shine to it, too. That's the back of that one. I'm going to probably clean that off with some alcohol. You know. And I don't think I'll even... I might not even back this with anything. I might. Oh, but you know what I did want to do? Now, if you should... Like, you you know, how you cut your pieces. And you may have some little sharp edges left on some of your pieces. This is what I would do. Just take it and put it like that. So, you know, if you, if you give it to somebody or sell it or whatever, it won't scratch. That's what I would do. That's just me, though. And I would do the same thing with this, but although this one doesn't have any, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh-oh. And they see, like, this one has it a little bit. So I would just do that. Kind of as a, a little buffer, you know. And that's it. Uh-oh. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I saw some glue on here. I'm going to clean off. <laughs> I should have waited till that other one dry, huh? Wait, I saw this little piece. It's driving me crazy. Oh, there it is. I just put it on. All right. So that's it. We're done with our collage jewelry um, pendant pieces. That's it. Now, for the next video, I am going to turn these into necklaces. So you can stay tuned for that. Watch this series. I'm going to turn these into necklaces. Like I said, you can use the necklaces or you can use this as a keepsake for a top of a, a gift box, um, a keepsake box or whatever it is you want to use it for. Um, they are kind of big, so just remember that. Like, this is probably the smallest one out of the two. So if you're going to give this as a necklace or something, it is going to be chunky, just so you know. Okay? All right. But I am going to make them to necklaces, though. So stay tuned for that. And then I got some more um, other jewelry projects lined up. And I want you to stay tuned for that, okay? So... If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave me a question or comment if you should have one regarding any of this. Uh, I'll try to post some links below and watch the videos because a lot of your questions may have already been answered. Um, you know, just pause it and see, you know, uh, what questions you need to have answered. They're probably already in the video, but if you should have any other questions, just let me know. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Ciao!